This is the Giovanni Analysis Options tutorial number one on time average maps. Time average maps are the default visualization type in Giovanni. Time average maps are used to display the average value of a data variable in a geographical context. Time average maps are a simple way to observe the variability of data values over a region of interest. Giovanni has several options for time average maps. They can be used to average any data variable time increment, hourly, three hour, daily, weekly, or monthly. Bounding boxes or shape files can be used for the region of interest. Color palettes can be selected, data ranges can be adjusted, logarithmic or linear scaling is available, and pixel values can be contoured. Because the time average map is the default visualization type in Giovanni, it will be highlighted in yellow when the Giovanni interface is accessed. For any data analysis option in Giovanni, the selected option will be highlighted in yellow at the top of the interface. For this example, we are looking for the rain rate data variable. Typing in the keyword rain rate provides several different choices. In this case, the trim 3A12 version 7 data variable will be used. Click in the box to select the variable. After data variable selections are made, clicking the clear box will cause only the selected data variables to be displayed. The next step is to select the time period for the analysis. Calendars can be used to select the year, month, and date for the begin date and end date. The begin date and end date can also be entered as year, month, and day. If a monthly data variable is chosen before the time period selection, the time period options will only be for the begin month and end month, as is the case for the monthly rain rate variable used here. For this example, January 2009 is the begin date, and March 2009 is the end date to create a three-month average map. There are three ways to select a region of interest. The first is to enter geographic coordinates for the corner points of a rectangular region in decimal degrees. The second way is to select the bounding box option, which is circled here, and then click and drag to create a rectangular region. The map can be zoomed with the plus minus controls, moved with the arrows or with the hand tool, enabling precision selection. When the data variable, time period, and region of interest have been selected, click Plot Data. The third method to choose a region of interest is to use shapefiles, the circled icon. Shapefiles are available for countries, U.S. states, and major watersheds. For this example, the Colorado River watershed is selected as shown below. Note the name of this watershed in the selection menu. Again, plot data would be clicked subsequently to generate the time average map. When a shape file is selected by itself, the initial visualization in the browser will look like this, but the output map download will only be for the selected region. There is a simple way to make the shapefile easier to see and manipulate with the replotting options. This is shown on the next slide. To make the initial visualization of a shapefile easier to see in the browser, select the shapefile, then draw a bounding box around the shapefile with the cursor using the click and drag method. The result of this procedure is shown here. Now click plot data to get a map. Here is the initial time average map visualization for the three month period January to March 2009 using the Colorado River watershed shapefile and a bounding box. This completes the demonstration of how to create a time average map with Giovanni if you wish to stop here. The next slides will demonstrate replotting options and download options. To access the replotting options, click on the layers icon. The layers options allow the addition or removal of captions, the color palette, called the legend, and map overlays, including a geographical grid and boundaries. For the replotting options, click the daisy wheel labeled Options. 
Several options are used to produce the final time average map for this example. The maximum value for the color palette is now set to 1.2 millimeters per hour. The color palette has been changed to the nine shade green blue sequential palette and the smoothing option which is actually pixel contouring has also been chosen. When done the replot option is clicked and the visualization shown below is the result. While the output map is displayed in the browser, the lat long coordinates of the cursor position will be displayed interactively. The cursor position here is on the area where the highest rain rate occurred. Three download options are available, as shown at left. The KMZ download will open automatically in Google Earth if it is available on the home system. The PNG image download is shown below. The Browse History menu is displayed next to the map visualization in the web browser. Clicking on Downloads in this menu provides the four file options shown below. This option is particularly important because the NetCDF file can be downloaded from here and used in other applications. Clicking on Lineage in the Browse History menu provides the information shown to the right. Many of the intermediate files used to create the time average map output are available for download if desired. This concludes the Giovanni time average map video tutorial. Thank you for watching.